What's up guys, Zach Man with Micro Profits FX. Doing a quick video update, gonna make it uh, sweet and quick. Um, so right now we're uh, looking at the EuroCAD. Um, obviously we're still in this trade, uh, doing pretty positive. We are down uh, with some profits. We are, uh, we entered right here. Try to get this as closely as I can. Oh, it's a stop loss, but anyways. So right now we're doing about 11.56 and our take profit area is gonna be right down here off this channel and then we'll probably be looking at another buying opportunity maybe we'll see if it breaks through or not but we're just going to kind of watch that so it's going to be right around uh 18 you know somewhere in this vicinity anyways um kind of watch it once it gets closer to kind of figure out what we're going to do there but um so we're getting close to there so we're in profit there which is pretty positive uh pretty much this trade alone is going to um take care of all of last week's negative losses so that's pretty positive there uh we're going to look at the cad Canadian Swiss right now we are in a buying position as well um, I'd open that earlier today <coughs> I like the setup that I saw which is obviously this trend line right here was kind of bouncing back and forth on there um, same thing if you look at the hour chart it was kind of bouncing along there too right now it's kind of hitting some resistance though so we're going to kind of keep a closer eye but it should keep continuing up uh, so we're in profits there uh, right now we are looking at about three almost 400 um, and then obviously we're gonna try to look for the upside on the four-hour chart so right around 12 or so so that's kind of the take profit I don't think I have a take profit set do I maybe it's on the daily oh yeah the daily uh, so yeah the daily channel so yeah obviously I'm kind of going off this channel too we did bounce off of there so we could be looking to retest further up so obviously I do have a uh, stop loss set but I have the trailing bot too so that's going to probably stop me out right at this trend line probably. So we'll kind of see how that one goes too. We'll play it by ear, but we're in profits there. Uh, and then a couple other ones that were in. Let's see. NZ. T. Swiss. Store. Um, oh, here we go. So we're in uh, AUD. CHF as well. Um, this one is a buy. Uh, obviously, we're kind of in the negative right now, but nothing. I got to really really tight stop loss on this one so it's gonna be a minor loss if it doesn't make it um i did like what i saw here on the, i believe it was the hour chart if we get to it there we go um so earlier obviously we're in a we're in the transitioning of the markets uh, right now so the closing and opening so it did drop down but um it kind of bounced off of here and then it touched again and i was hoping it would bounce back up so that's why I entered this one, but like I said, I kind of got a tight, stop, or a tight stop loss, so it's nothing drastic if we don't make it. So not not that big of a deal. And this one is kind of taking a little bit of a little, uh, leap of faith on that one, I guess. But um, and the other one is NZD. No, oh, here we go. So we're gonna look at this one as well, the NZD CHF as well. So a little bit of uh, some Swiss action going on here, but. Um, Right? This is the right one. Oh, maybe I got stopped out of this one. I bet you I did. Yeah, so I was in this one as well. Hmm. Let's take a look. Oh, no, I wasn't. That was earlier. I'm sorry. USD Swiss is bonus. So, yeah, right now we're actually in $10 profit. Uh, we're making seven dollars on the Euro CAD, CAD Swiss, three seven four, and then uh, USD uh, Swiss as well is negative ninety two cents, and odd cash Swiss is twenty two cents. So USD CAD is what I'm in. All right, so let's go back to it. USD Swiss, I mean not CAD. USD Swiss, which is there we go. Ah, so I'm in a selling opportunity here, and the reason why that is is because again this nice little trend line that it broke uh it was riding and then uh it kind of closed out of there and then we were looking to get in and obviously it kind of broke through there so we're looking for that nice little sell there especially on the 30 minute chart as well um as you can see it broke out of there and the 15 minute chart it broke out of there as well so i uh, hit that uh, touched that resistance we kind of just waited for it to down downplay there and it sure did and got into it so that one is looking pretty positive as well to sell um it's probably going to be doing a little bit of bouncing around but it is looking very good on the charts and obviously the the daily chart is a main downtrend as well 
Um, but again, I have a, type, a tight stop loss just in case, because uh, you just never know. But uh, I did touch some, a little bit of resistance, and we're going to kind of watch that as well. But looking looking positive so far. So we'll see what this one does. Again, took a little bit of leap of faith on this one, just because given the factor where it's at and stuff like that. So again, looking pretty positive this week so far. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, so you guys get notifications, sign up on the Telegram. Uh, so we can start doing that too. So we can, we can get uh, instant trade uh, notifications of what we're doing. Um, other than that, guys, let's, uh, let's grow this micro account. And if you guys uh, want to join in, like I said, just follow the links below. Sign up for Coinbase. Sign up for CoinX. That's the broker that I use. Um, as of right now, obviously, the plan is to get a little bit different brokers because you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket type of situation just in case, you know, the what do they call it the black swan comes along where basically one bad uh, news can wipe out a whole brokerage account if uh trade goes huge so anyways that's a def different topic for a different day but uh, thanks for watching guys like i said uh you know for just 10 bucks you can guys start trading just like me um that's kind of what we're doing obviously you can continue to watch until we grow this account to where we need it to go like i said i want to hit a hundred dollars by the end of the year hopefully sooner um but uh, we just kind of watch these trades, keep on going, and see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys.